Hello everyone, this is Michael uh, with Batman's View, and this is... Krista. And I'm Christopher. If you remember last week we talked about this whole principles of network economy, well today we have something amazing to talk about. We're actually going to talk about Carl Ludwig and his work on general systems. You guys ready? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, so Carl, Carl Ludwig did some amazing things actually. Essentially what general systems uh, theory in a nutshell is about the approach to understanding complex issues and problems in, in problems in general. It focuses more of on um, its structure rather than its function on solving things. For example, for example, making a program, instead of knowing how, how it's going to run, general, general systems theory focuses on, on the structure and the thought process and how, how everything should be organized before it runs. For example, uh, system analysis is a perfect example of that. Um, essentially, if, when, you, when you're making a program, what you, you're going to do is you're going to uh, go through, uh, you're going to go through all the approaches, make sure... Um, Something like that. Exactly. Um, you're gonna have a you're gonna you're gonna have a map. And you're gonna, uh, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna organize your thoughts, make sure you have everything. Uh, you're gonna have all your experts, and uh, you're going to go off through the process before uh, before uh, everything gets put together at the very end. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So yeah, just like that, like first anal analysis. I said that wrong today. Analysis. analysis. <laughs> I, I should be able to talk, right, because yeah. I'm a talk show host, yes. <laughs> but, you know, then you design it, then you develop it, and then you, you implement, implement it. it. It's a life cycle. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Okay. Well. All right, well, my favorite part of this whole theory is isomorphism, which is a big word, and I know it sounds kind of complex, but <laughs> let me just break it down for you. It comes from two Greek words, isos meaning equal, and morph meaning shape. It's used in all kinds of fields, math and science and computer science. For example, um, in math, it's used like if you have a subgraph, it breaks it down, like a complicated graph, it'll break it down into parts so you can um, understand it better. And in Sounds good so far. That's exactly what I was trying to explain earlier. It is a thought process. Yeah, just a thought process to break everything down. Okay. It's also a formal mapping between complex structures to find the similarities between the two. So you can have different um, different structures, but a lot of the if they'll have similar stru they'll have similar structures or similar ways of doing things, yeah. even though they're so different. Right. And that applies to a lot of subjects as well and everything, all the different fields. Right. Um, okay. For example, there's a principle of exponential law of growth. Mm -hmm. That applies to all kinds of things. It applies to certain bacterial cells, population of bacteria, um, animals, humans, and even the progress of scientific research. So, as you can see, those are those are kind of different things, but that same principle can apply to all. It's kind of it's like a process, you know. Exactly. That can apply to all all fields. Mm -hmm. So, how does this apply to the theory? Well, theory theorists using this approach. They strive to find concepts, patterns, and principles between differing systems so they can be applied and transferred from one system to another. So you can develop a law or a principle for one system and you can use it in another system just as well. And you don't have to redefine the law or whatever, you can use it in another system and it would work the same way. So it makes it simpler for um, scientists or mathematicians or you know, business people. Teachers. Yeah, teachers even. Just anywhere you can use the same concept and apply it in different fields. Interesting. Okay. It makes things a lot easier to solve problems. Exactly. Right. So, I mean, that's really that's really all I learned about isomorphism. Okay. Um, you know, I, I want to go ahead and uh, give you guys, you know, I, I looked into the, the topic myself for a while and, uh, you know, as a child, I grew up, grew up, you know, reading all of his books. Of course. You know, yeah. I, I didn't have, you know, the little train that could, <laughs> or, right. you, you know, what was, wig, right? yeah, you know, so I had love with. <laughs> so, here's, here's a quote that I think it's, um, you know, that can, it's very important, kind of really sums it up. There are many instances, instances where identical principles were discovered several times because the worker in one field were unaware that the theoretical structure required was already well developed in some other field. General systems theory will go a long way towards avoiding such unnecessary duplication of labor. And I think the reason why this sums it up so well is because just like what Krista and Mike were saying is that 
Ludwig looks at this as more of a method, more like a systematic approach mm -hmm. uh, that can apply to any kind of field, whether it be MIS majors, accountants, right. finance. And I, I guess, you know, I can give you guys an example. Um, so, you know, as MIS majors, you know, we, we do a lot of coding, you know, debugging, you know, right. HTML codes, Java codes. And, you know, if, when we're coding, if we come upon an error, what do we do? We, we look through the codes, we debug, we try to find out what's going on, mm -hmm. right? We debug. And accountants do the same thing. Obviously, they don't call it debugging, right. but you know, once they put together their uh, their income statement, their balance sheet, um, you know, if there's something wrong, they gotta debug and find out which field they need to fix. You know, it's the same concept. You know, so I think what Ludwig is trying to say is, you know, no matter what field or you know profession you're in systems theory general systems theory applies to everything you know we wow. you know it's it's a overall uh, encompassing holistic approach to you know i guess the way we think mm -hmm. and the way we develop so you can be a mechanic and use the same approach you're using general systems to define theory. the problem exactly yeah. oh interesting so I, I guess i can understand so just no matter what field you're in everyone's have a certain process or method or way to execute what needs the end game mm -hmm. or what needs to be done exactly. I mean, really if you think about it the the chart we were looking at before the analysis yeah. design um develop and implement, implement. that can be used for in everybody. The field. Yeah. Everybody. Because every when you have a problem, you have to analyze it. Just like it. a car manufacturer, exactly. right? you design, you go through the thing, and you mm -hmm. implement it. So that's that's what love is, is trying to convey to us. And um, you know, I, I think it's a very, very you know, great topic to talk about. Yeah, I think it's effective. It can be used. The fact that it can be used in all different kinds of fields, I think, is what makes it so amazing. Because there's a lot of theories out there that can just be applied to biology or yeah. just be applied just, to math. But yeah, this one's over, like, encompassing. encompassing. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. If people read upon this, uh, I think um, their approach to things in life or, or work would be much easier because there's a systematic approach to it. Things just get easier. There's a thought process. You have your field experts, and things just get, get a lot easier that way. Mm -hmm. So. Well, that, I guess that pretty much sums it up for Love Week. Um, Unfortunately, I yeah. hate to cut it so short. We I, are I just really enjoyed out of this. time, guys. Well, definitely. Well, it was definitely great talking about uh, Ludwig and everything he has, and hopefully everyone learned something today. Um, I'm definitely going to go home and definitely use this methodology when I, you know, study for my exams <laughs> tomorrow. Yes, exactly. Exam <laughs> studying. I didn't even think about that. Exactly. The process to use for exams. Exactly. Thank you, Ludwig. Exactly. I know. When I uh, when I take my Java quiz on Thursday, I'm definitely going to use the methodology to go through everything, and hopefully everything works out. What about you guys? Yeah. I, mean, I don't have any tests coming up, so I'm good. Uh, yeah, I, I do, so <laughs> that's, that's try, my... Try Ludwig's approach, yeah. your hero. Hey, that's what I do every day. Exactly. That's what I mean. You might, you know, you do it, but you probably don't even know. Exactly. Well, I'm glad you learned something new every day, and today we, we all learned something from Ludwig, so. Yeah. Well, um, that is it for Admin's View. My name is Michael. My name is Krista. And I am Christopher. And signing off. Signing off. Check us out on Twitter, Facebook. Okay. And, if you, want, and yeah. if you want to take a look at the slides, uh, click the link below. Thank all you. Right.